Glittering occasion on the Spanish football calendar. Real Madrid and Atletico on the same pitch. It doesn't get much better. It is the Merengues. Against the Colchoneros here at the Bernabeu. That's Real Madrid versus Atletico Madrid. And the sparks usually fly when these two lock horns. I'm Derek Ray, and with me for commentary is Stuart Robson. Stuart, this should be fascinating. Well, Derek, these are usually great tactical battles, no matter who's been in charge of the teams. And this will be no different. I've got to say, this should be a good game today. And players waiting in the centre. And here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Federico Valverde plays with Luka Modric in central midfield. And it's two strikers up front who'll look to provide the goal-scoring threat. And this is the starting lineup for Atletico. Jan Oblak gets the nod in goal. Jose Maria Jimenez plays with Stefan Savic in central defence. Rodrigo de Paul starts alongside Saul in central midfield. And up front, Antoine Griezmann starts with Angel Correa. You can't help feeling when you look at the table that when you're playing dominant football such as they have been, that they're going to lap the field. Well, there seems to be no stopping them at the moment. They've been by far and away the best team. Unless something drastic happens, I can't see how they let this slip. Well, that one has promise. Correa. Aurelia Chouameni. A struggle for Real Madrid to hang on to the ball. Saúl. Will he play it in? Saúl. And back to Saúl. Clearance needed to be better. Griezmann. And a long way out. But the keeper takes charge, and it was pretty straightforward. Go to the back page of any newspaper today, and you'll find the name of Axel Witzel. If you believe the stories coming out of the camp, this could be his final season. Could he be thinking about hanging up his boots? Yeah, if the rumours are correct, it's going to be a big loss for the club. They've come to rely on his performances. We all get to that age where it all becomes a little bit harder on the body. He's starting to get to that age, so I wouldn't be too surprised. Chance to play it in. Well, the keeper was always likely to do his job under no pressure. De Paul. Now Correa. Might work out. They're all doing their bit to keep them out. Bellingham. And return to Vinicius. Look at Modric. Can he put them in front? And the deflection there before it went over the byline. Going to be a corner. Struggling to get it away. Rudiger. Nicely blocked. Savage. It's with Saul. Well, the last over hit, not quite what he wanted to produce. Jose Lu. Lucas Vasquez. Well, nothing to split the two sides, but this move looks promising. Real find themselves in a position of menace. But nothing comes of it. Advantage Atletico. Savage. Saul. And snuffed out the danger immediately. Atletico have an awful lot of space here. He cuts it back. 
timely intervention. Well, I can tell you someone has scored at the San Mames, but to tell you exactly who, here's Alex. Yeah, it's a goal for Bilbao. They're the first on the score sheet here with 35 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Vinicius Junior, very quick thinking there. Correa. Marcos Llorente has it. Atletico being afforded too much room. And the snuffing out of the cross there. Correa. Marcos Llorente. Real Madrid doing well to regain possession here. Rudiger. Now with Bellingham. Lucas Vasquez. Eder Militao. The ball with Lucas Vasquez. Jose Lu. Could be troublesome. And Bellingham. Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. Still not clear. And that is that half time here in the Spanish capital. Into the second half then here at the Bernabeu. Interesting, changing situation in the Athletic Bilbao game. What's happening there, Alex Scott? Yeah, it's another goal for Bilbao. They're ahead by two now with 46 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Clear foul, but a Real Madrid advantage. Jude Bellingham. And Real's creative tendencies coming to the fore. This could be troublesome. Lucas Vasquez. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. And swept out of there. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? <laughs> Substitution for Real Madrid. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. He's very adept at protecting the ball. And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. Well, I should think Arsenal fans are in a pretty good mood following this news. The contract situation ironed out. And he might be in action pretty soon, Stuart. Well, the fee is reported to be around about £60 million, which is a lot of money, but I think he's worth it. He's going to be under huge pressure, of course, but I'm sure he'll be able to cope with it. Saul. Samuel Lino. It's with Hermoso. Correa. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Garcia. It's going to be an Atletico throw-in. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. And we really are at the business end of the cup competition, the semi-final first leg, live action to come on EA TV. It's Atletico, and they take on Athletic Bilbao. Well, I can't wait to see how the coaches set their teams up for that one. Both will want to lead going into the second leg. Well, big news I'm hearing. A penalty has been awarded in one of the other games. Alex Scott with the details. Yeah, my Mallorca were awarded the penalty, but it was saved. The shot went straight down the middle. Goalkeeper didn't even have to move. The scoreline remains 2-0 with 65 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. Rodrigo. Now with Valverde. It's got to be! 
And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. And In by Luka Modric. A strong goalkeeping after the corner had been delivered. Chouameni. Really inventive stuff from Real here. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. In control, Griezmann as he goes forward. A fine reading of the situation. Rodrigo. Well, Real have to score soon. Time is running out. But these fans can sense the winner's coming. Vinicius Jr. Determined defending. Under pressure. Doesn't seem to be bothering him. Vasquez. Well, the fans want to see a shot. Marcos Llorente. Savage. Marcos Llorente has it. Lino. And here they come now. Atletico looking for a late winner. Must take the lead here. And a goal! Well, they've kept the fans waiting, but they'll feel it was worth the wait. 1-0. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end. And that might well be the decider. Well, Real certainly haven't been at their best, but they might just get one more big chance to draw level here. Their fans certainly think so. Just listen to them. Well, do they have a goal in their future? They're giving it a go. Just the challenge that was required. Five minutes to go. Space in abundance for Atleti. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. And with that, the move comes to an end. And a goal kick to follow now. And here's a change now for Atletico. Almost at full time. Not quite yet, though. And Atletico with a narrow advantage. Stuart, what have you made of their performance today? Well, it's going to be a nervy end to this game. But if they do hold on, I think they've deserved their win. They've played really well and they've played some good attacking football. And in general, they've controlled the game. Griezmann! Wonderful block. Real chance. Constantly thwarted. And that is that. The final whistle is sounded and three points for Atletico. They take the spoils. Their fans are going to be happy with this. Well, Derek, what a good finish to the game that was. They just wore down the opposition and in the end, they got their reward. That's a really good win for them.